Hi, David Phelps, the CEO and founder of the Freedom Founders Mastermind Community. Now, I don't profess to be able to time the market cycles. Nobody really can. But I do know how to ride the waves, meaning that we know that there's always going to be business cycles. And a business cycle means there's an up market for a period of time, and then there's going to be some kind of a reset in down market. Uh, there's various degrees of those up markets and down markets. Some are lighter than others, and some are heavier. The last really great one we had, great, I say, great recession was uh, 2008. Uh, that downturn, the financial meltdown, and subsequent uh, recession that we went into was considered uh, the greatest one since the Great Depression of the 30s, which uh, most of us didn't have a chance to experience, thankfully. We are in another reset now, this time triggered by a virus. Really didn't have anything to do with the financial markets or real estate or anything at this point. Uh, but what I do know is the virus has tr triggered a recession now, and now it's causing uh, issues in the financial markets will cause bigger issues in the financial markets, I truly believe. And certainly in real estate markets, uh, all businesses are really being affected, most being affected negatively. A few businesses are positioned well, and they're actually doing well, but that's a, that's a minority. So how, how does one deal with these, these ups and downs? Here's what I know. Again, nobody can time the markets, but if you learn how to invest and position yourself both in your businesses and in your investments, then you can ride the big waves. You can't hit the ups and the downs perfectly, but you can ride the big waves. See, too many people, in my opinion, abdicate, meaning they don't put any time or, or education or getting experience in how to deal with the economy. They just put their head down in the sand. And I mean, not in a bad way, but it's their work ethic. I'm just gonna put my head down. I'm not gonna look left or right. I'm just gonna work hard like a plow horse. And that's a great work ethic, but it doesn't get you where you need to go. I hate it to see when, when these market cycles happen and the exuberance of the up cycle makes everybody feel good. Their businesses typically are doing well, their investments are doing well, and, every, and they're feeling really good. And then all of a sudden, smack, they get slammed by another reset. Out of the blue, well, it's not really out of the blue because it's, we know it's going to happen. Look, I started talking about the next reset back in 2017, in 18 and 19. I've got videos of me speaking about it, not knowing exactly when, but saying, here's how to prepare yourself, here's how to position yourself, and here's how to prosper. Few people take my advice, because they think, well, it's not gonna happen to me, or it's just too much work, or you know, what, is, what does he know? Again, if you learn how to ride the waves and position yourself, you can, you can stay on top and not get pummeled by the tsunamis that hit everybody else. Going through life, it's too difficult to, to not anticipate change because change is always going to be there. And the more change we have, the more difficult people, people have dealing with it. If you just get used to the fact that there's going to be change, there's going to be uh, upheavals in the marketplace, and it's going to affect your business and your personal life and your, and your investment life. But if you position yourself so you can, you can ride through those waves, it's called, it's called, it's called like riding through the, the gap, right? The gap. If you get through the gap, then on the other side, you're way ahead of everybody else. And that's all it takes in life. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be the fastest, the best at anything, but you just have to be ahead of the other people. It's not that hard to do. It's what we do in Freedom Founders. It's, it's what I love to do is, is have a board of advisors, not just me, but a wealth of people who have been through uh, many recession cycles in both business and in real estate. And we learn how to keep our finger on the pulse and how to direct or orchestrate our investments so we don't get pummeled every six to eight years when there's another recession or downturn. We ride that wave. We may take a little bit of a dip, but not the slam that people take in the stock market or Wall Street or the speculators in real estate or business that get slammed down and have to like restart. It takes years for them to dig themselves back out again. It's the key to life. Don't do it solo. Don't do it by yourself. Find other people who have already gone down that path and have figured it out. Find people who are actually living a life that you want to live, not still trading time for dollars. Nothing wrong with that. But if you're taking advice from those people, they haven't figured it out yet. Find the people who have done it. I'm one of those, just to let you know. Remember, always stay focused on your freedom, and I'll see you next time.